So welcome to Teacher Teen Teachers. We uh, this is a holiday edition. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday, December twenty seventh. Um, some eighth graders from New Jersey uh, wanted to pop in and talk about the work they're doing, but we don't see them yet. So we're going to go with uh, some of Chris Sloan's story about what he's been working on. Um, just as good. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so why don't you, sh why don't you, we started talking about it before we started recording, but why don't you tell that story again and then present when it seems appropriate? Sure. So we're dealing with prompting, we're dealing with simulation, we're dealing with uh, AP writing, you explain. Yeah, yeah. So I'm in the early stages of um, responding, having AI respond to students' responses to like an AP English language and composition essay question. So in the spring of every year, thousands and thousands of high school students take an AP exam, so an AP English language and composition exam, which is like rhetoric. Um, and so one of the tasks is to do a rhetorical essay, a rhetorical analysis essay. So, uh, you know, I've been doing that for years too. And so a lot of things come to mind when I think about that. So this is going to be a bit of a ramble, but, but I'll go. Good. You're okay with that, Paul, right? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. I'll interrupt one. Yeah. <laughs> so I came here hoping to hear some eighth graders, by the way, but uh I know I'll, it's okay. Sorry I'll just talk that. about talk about my <laughs> stuff here. Um so you know I will um we've kind of gone retro in my class. Last year we did they uh wrote uh digitally, they responded via computer on the AP exam, but there were all kinds of problems with connectivity and, and people's devices and stuff. So I don't know if the whole system has gone to paper this year or not, but uh, we are. So we're doing a paper exam again, which is like the old days where, um, you know, like we do practice AP exams because I want them to obviously practice before they do this uh, thing in the spring where they would get college credit if so th that 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 tech technology glitch was was during the AP exam. Whew, yeah, it was it was a bad one. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So, I just it wasn't in general. It was during that. Time. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Got yeah. It. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of reasons, like a lot of students had problems just with the interface itself, or with their equipment, or or our wireless. You know, who knows. Uh, but it was it presented a lot of problems, and so the technology actually got in the way of their writing, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, like years past, I would have them practice by writing on a piece of paper, uh, pen on paper, you know, responding to their essay prompt, a, a previous essay question that are released every year. So I gave them um, a rhetorical analysis essay prompt. For this thing here so my thinking was all right so typically i read these things and i wind up saying similar things to everybody i mean there's nuances and there's um uh differences but you know like i'll say a lot of the same things to people um mm -hmm. over again in my handwriting comments to them so um in that sense um you know this strikes me as a pretty good use of ai because a, um, there are these things called chief reader notes where um, the AP folks, after they've read, you know, and scored thousands and thousands of essays, I mean, it may be a hundred thousand, I don't know, it's a lot of essays. Um, they uh, release their, um, their thoughts, you know, like, so the chief reader will have convened all these other readers, which are like English teachers who read hundreds of essays, I think. And then they all norm themselves and score it, you know, and that's how they tell whether people pass or fail the, the written portions, the essay portions. Um, so the chief reader then says like, oh, here's my take. You know, here's what I'm seeing. Here's what people do well. Here's what people um, 
need to improve on that kind of thing. So I thought to myself, a good use of a simulator, an AI simulator would be to ingest those thoughts and then um, give advice to students, my students who um, wrote their essays. And so basically um, I've kind of winnowed it down to what I think is a pretty good process. And um, then I look at the feedback that the AI generates and I then edit it myself. Um, so do you, do you want to start with uh, with showing mm -hmm. us the prompt? Sure. I think that's a good place to start. Maybe. Check it. Well, I we could probably um, see, we'll see the prompt if we looked at, we'll see the AP essay prompt if we look at the thinking partner prompt. Correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I will start sharing my screen. Mm -hmm. And um, let me make sure I am signed in and I will share here shortly. Let me get to my thinking partner. Okay. All right, so I think I will start sharing my screen now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did it work? I think we should be able to. You're seeing something I'm maybe? Not seeing it yet. Not Almost. Yet. It's coming. It's coming soon. Okay. Okay. We're patient window okay Perfect. okay so you can see i'm on the yep. Yep. gpt thinking partners so i have one that is called chief reader of and you haven't published this yet. So I haven't published this yet because I'm still, well, one I did, but that's the one that I have not um, done. I need to work on the one that actually is published. That was just my test. Mm -hmm. This one here, I've been actually entering student um, feedback into. So this is called Chief Reader 2023 AP exam. Question two was a rhetorical analysis essay about uh, Rita Dove gave a commencement speech at the University of Virginia in 2016. So anyway, I said, be the author of the chief reader report for the 2023 AP English language and composition free response question number two, read a Dove commencement speech. So the mm -hmm. first thing I do is I say, here is the essay question from the free response section of the exam, okay? So mm -hmm. I think, you know, as I'm thinking about this, the one thing, even though I say it later, I think I'm going to say the role of what I want this person to be. It's be the author, but really what I want this person to be is someone who gives feedback to students. So I want to say, I think I'm going to say you are the author. But anyway, we'll just look at what uh, I have. Wait, so what do you mean by the author? Well, well, someone wrote the chief reader report. I see. And so the yeah. chief reader, that's the author of the the person who said, like, here's my take on all thousands of essays that we all read. So, yeah, we can go back to that. Why don't yeah. So uh, anyway, as I look at it, because I'm still refining this, I think I'm going to say something like you are the author and you're going to play like, the role. I mean, we're not system. changing it yet because we won't change you've it. Already, you've already had it respond to stuff, right? Yeah, but I don't think it's a major change because you'll see I, I actually say that stuff later on in here. Okay. So anyway, okay, go ahead, so go then on. like here's the the passage that people would have um, read, you know. So basically, um, here's the question. So I said, here's the essay question. And mm -hmm. so the essay question is, um, and these are released exams, by the way. So it's, I think it's okay to do. Um, uh, so on May 21st, 2016, the poet Rita Dove delivered a commencement address to graduating students at the University of Virginia, where she was a professor of English at the time. 
Dove received a Pulitzer Prize for her poetry and served as the United States Poet Laureate from 1993 to 1995. She also writes in a variety of genres, including fiction and drama. The following is an excerpt from her speech. Read the passage carefully. Write an essay that analyzes the rhetorical choices. Dove makes So that's exactly what they're asked to do. That is their task right there. Okay. And the highlighted stuff is like, don't forget, that's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. right there okay so and then i say to the um gpt yeah, here's right. here's the excerpt of the commencement address that students are reading and um you know so this is the commencement address mm -hmm. and so you know she has obviously she's really effective um she's a pretty good writer as it turns out um, and, and this was, you know, a pretty interesting rhetorical situation because she was actually a professor at the place that she was given a commencement address to, and it's not your typical commencement address. So, you know, there's like things that students could notice, um, you know, mm -hmm. right away. So basically. So well, you put the whole address in here. Yeah. So here's not the whole address, but the excerpt. This is the question itself. You know, so I wish you uncertainty. It's like, oh, that's unusual. So, yeah. Earlier today, I learned about delimiters. I'm just putting a pin in that. We'll go back and talk about that. Okay, later. okay. gotcha. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. And and there are even some footnotes to her in the AP exam, like who was Percy Bysshe Shelley, you know, and mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. So then I tell the little to the I say to the GPT, this is the end of the excerpt of the speech by Rita Dove. Now I'm saying you're the chief reader. Um, and you've just written a report, okay. and then so I say, So that's where you said the role, yeah, okay. Yeah, so below are your thoughts after reading a large number of student responses to an essay prompt that asked students to write a rhetorical analysis essay of a speech mm -hmm. by Rita Dove. And so then I say, you know, this is some of the language that I borrowed from the Rebecca Sklut simulator. So you must answer the question first, then condense the rest, you know, um, uh, yeah. So in each response, start by preparing an extended multiple point complete answer. Stop yourself after 120 words. Pause and find creative and unique ways for summarizing for me those what, what those few points are. Keep it short. Uh -huh. um, so basically, I think I'm trying to say to the, to the, uh, these are the instructions. And we haven't even seen the chief reader report yet. Mm -hmm. These are just the instructions. Um, stay focused on answering the question. So students are going to ask questions like, you know, did I do what I was supposed to do? Did I write a good thesis or something like that? Yeah. Um, I, and then just, just a quick sidebar on that. The reason I, I, we started putting that in is the ninth graders in, um, in Philadelphia Rollins, um, would choose arbitrary, I mean, what looks like somewhat arbitrary thinking partners um, to respond to the to the literature they were reading, mm. um, and then they got totally frustrated when it didn't answer the question they asked, mm. right? mm -hmm. uh, which which I totally get. I get right. So yeah, I think it well, is helpful to have it answer the question. You know, not just. Well, I mean that start. that happened to me too because I sometimes I I would once I forgot to. Uh, ask this particular GPT and I asked another GPT and I was it was like not not what I wanted it, it doesn't feel like it's having a conversation with you then if it doesn't yeah. <clears throat> no yeah it was okay. not what I was looking for yeah so um okay. and then um then I say use the information from the interview with the chief reader as an example of how you as a chief reader would respond to the question and to the text in the chief reader report, you talk about things that the student writer of the essay did well, and when answering when answering the essay prompt, you should also give a student writer some suggestions on how they might have written a more effective essay. And then this part here is kind of from your Sklut simulator. Um, you know, stay in character from the beginning to the mm -hmm. end of the comment. Um, earlier, I said make sure you quote from the student essay. Um, like that again and and just worth worth underlining why we do these things I, I, a researcher did there's this whole research project where mm -hmm. they they treat the um gpts as actors 
and they're mm-hmm. coaching the actors, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. they they find that that actually works to give a good notion of how to how to be in the role, right? Mm-hmm. So it's funny, but it's interesting. But to try yeah. this, yeah, okay, yeah, and then it's like. <clears throat> um paraphrase your own words and sentences to make comments and sound like a helpful high school ap english language and composition teacher in a fresh and creative way you are the actor so again that's i borrowed that from you you're the actor presenting Mm -hmm. the report to an audience this is where i don't think it's a problem to change tiny things in here like because i actually have edited the gpt um since i started using it Right. So you're an actor presenting the chief readers report to an audience. Actually, it's more like you're an actor giving feedback in the voice of a chief reader or something, you know. Yeah, go ahead. Um, but I do think. Huh? If you yeah. want to change it now, go ahead. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'll just talk about what I did so far, and I'm just talking about how okay. I'm going to change it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, connect to the student writer though. And then what follows here is this, you know, like somebody did a Q and a with the chief reader. And, and so this is like all this stuff here is somebody saying, here's what I noticed. Here's the good. Here's the bad. Here's specific examples of what people did well. And here's some examples of what they didn't do well. And then there was like, um, you know, so there's a lot of information. And I thought, wow, that's really good information. But if I tried to lecture my students on like, here's what you should have done, that's not going to go too well. So. Um, or if you had yeah. them read this, that, that would be. Yeah, like I could have them read it and annotate it. I just feel like they would not be all that riveted. But if there's feedback on their own writing, I think there may be more motivation. Um, so, um, there was even a table in here that I converted. Okay. So there's now, um, yeah. So here there was stuff like this, like based on your experience on the AP reader with student responses, what advice would you offer for students? So this, some of this advice is what's generated in in student feedback. Um, And it's not really formatted the way it was before. So I converted one table. The table didn't convert very well to text. And so I kind of rephrased that. There was also a part in there about like, there was a question, well, what advice would you give to teachers to help them help students write these better. Mm -hmm. I took that out because the GPT was starting to give the students advice on, you know, like what their teacher should do or or something like that. It it wasn't making a lot of sense. Um, And then some just, you know, like here's how about the output, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there is the end thing saying like, sound Mm -hmm. like me, I would, I accidentally replaced that sound like an English teacher or something, probably. So that's the the prompt. Oh, that's that's, yeah. So so then <laughs> I, I, it'll be really interesting. I, I, yeah, yeah. And so it'd, it'd be interesting. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, it looks like we here, but that's okay. Got someone here. It's okay. You keep going for a while, Chris, and then we can talk to her. Okay. But yeah, man, actually, I'll you take did the pause. whole prompt, right? What's that? And and what you did the whole prompt. When we come back to you, we'll. She may have difficulty getting in, so we'll see. Yeah, I'll show you some student responses. What the Good. response they got? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop okay. sharing. Ro- Rohan, are you there? <laughs> okay. Rohan, we can't quite hear you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Make sure that it's not on. Are, are you on your phone or how are you here? I'll show you what Rohan did. Uh, that's a constant sound now. <laughs> mm. We'll get Rohan a chance to figure this out. 
And I'm gonna look up the maid. Rohan, are you there? Yeah, Mama, they can't hear. Okay, we can, we can hear you. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay, and you're in the car. Yeah. Okay, and are you on your phone? Yeah. Well, thanks for trying for jumping in. I can show um, what you've done, but why don't you talk about it a little bit? Tell us if that is that okay? Yeah. So Rohan, you're an eighth grader in New Jersey, and um, you are working on an essay this last week, and you made a GPT. But can you describe that process a little bit? What was the essay, and what did you do? So, um, my the the essay we were writing was it an essay for or say something, which we we have to like wait, um. We have to um like write write some write an essay about something we're passionate about, and um my and I created a bot called a, a simple advice, and it gives you like five main points you should change, so like it's easy to comprehend. Comprehend. I got you. Comprehend. Yeah. 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 Uh. So I'm going to I'm going to uh, I'm going to try to show the work as you're talking. Can you still talk? <laughs> okay. Did she disappear? I can't I was trying to share screen. Yeah, she's gone, right? It would appear so, yeah. Okay. So, she wrote a Rohan wrote this. I'm sharing screen now, am I? Yeah. Okay. You're Hello. back. Yeah. I I like your persistence. Are you still there? Yeah. Okay. So I have up on the screen your essay called The Endless War in the United States. Yes? Oh, wait. I have it on the screen. Okay. Okay. And then you, the first thing you did, it looks like, is you did a text to self-mentor. Right. Yeah. Right. Um. You did a few different. You did a few different ones, and then the one you were talking about when you went out there was the simple advice mentor. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so I read. I I noticed that when I know it, it says something like, "Don't give me all those compliments and everything. Just tell yeah. me what I need to fix." Right. Yeah. Okay. Why? Yeah, why I, did you go? Because uh, most of most of the off the thinking partners, uh, if you put like, put your your text in it and stuff, it it just like um, it gives you like a whole paragraph and a whole essay on like what you did good and stuff. On like in simple advice, I'm just trying to make you skip over all of that and get down to like what you need to fix. So it's like it's not confusing. Got it. Really interesting. Um, so, um, you, but and you use the simple advice twice. You got different answers both times, right? Oh yeah, I did. Um, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. I'm just uh, yeah. Um, so, did did you find the res the result helpful for as a writer or? Yeah. So you would yeah. use the simple advice one again, and you would recommend it. Yeah. Um, if I had to guess, it looks like the it got more specific in the second one. In the first one, it's talking about general advice, and then in the second one, it looks to be talking about. No. Oh yeah. I, oh yeah. Because I, I created a second a second thinking partner. Mm -hmm. I think. You did indeed the inner voice one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that yeah. I created a second one. And you you wrote to your teacher about the inner voice one. Uh huh. What? How did you feel about getting this one? Um, for this one, uh, after looking over my work, I thought like 
I thought I needed to do like, like a lot of the advice the other thing gave me was that um I need to develop my point. So I created the inner voice so I could develop my point, I guess. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by develop your point? Like, you like a lot of my essay is just hard facts. And like, it doesn't have like a passion in it, so. Mm. Yeah, it also so looks the, like it gave kind of organization there too. Like, you know, mm -hmm. it helped with the organizing. Yeah. So have you done another version of the essay yet based on this? I haven't had time to do it yet, but. Okay, cool, cool. Um, we seem to be losing you a little bit, but um, what else do you want to tell us about this whole process? I have a question to ask you, but I, I want you to ask questions and say what you're thinking about it. Um, I, I think this whole process of creating thinking partners kind of like helped us like think about like, um, it like, I don't know how to say it, but like it helps us uh, like expand or like it, it helps us like, um, like develop or like uh, get the kind of advice we want. Mm -hmm. Which which is a good thing. Chris. So as teachers, we spend a lot of time trying to make the perfect <laughs> thinking partners. Yeah. I'm exactly right. Um, how do you feel about that? Like, should we keep working that way or should we just let you make your own? Um, <laughs> or both. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of the CP partners, uh, teachers make or assignment specific. So like, um, if, if, we're, if we're doing like an, like an, an assignment, we're like, like, you know, you're writing about something which is like really only one way to think about it, then like it's good for the teacher to make the thinking partner. But like if we're, if we're talking about something like um, there, there's yeah, everybody has their own view, then it's good if you credit your own. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And so, are you unusual in in uh, liking to do this, or, or how how do your other people in your class feel about all this? Um, I don't know. Okay. Good, clear answer there. All right. Um. So, what else do you want AI to do that it isn't doing so far? Um, I, I want it to like um, uh, uh, can you give me a minute? Sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah, while well, he's waiting. Yes. Um, Thank you for correcting the gender on it. I think I said she really. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, it looks like, yeah, I mean, I noticed that thing, the last one there does seem to be helping with organization, like kind of structuring a lot of thoughts. Mm -hmm. And the one before was um, definitely specific to Rohan's writing. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. I was just looking up the... Um... If I could find that one, what did he call it? There's simple advice and there's inner voice. Hello? Hi. Hi. You're home now? Or somewhere? Yeah. yeah, good. Rohan, I'm a teacher in Utah, by the way. Thanks. Chris. No. 
Okay, so I, I I went to look at your um your prompts, and I have the first one up on the screen. It says, "Act as if you're a kid, perhaps about 13 years old. Make your feedback easy to comprehend and make it simple advice." Yeah. Okay. Valuable advice on the main points. Do not give a summary of what you like about the story. Just go straight for the simple advice. <laughs> and that worked, do you think? Yeah. Is there anything I, you would go ahead? I think for a lot of us, like seeing like page like words on the page makes it really overwhelming. Mm-hmm. You do do that. Um, let's look at your other one now. How did you write the um, inner voice one? Um, I don't remember. I think I wrote something like uh Well, I can read it to you, and then you can talk. You should speak with an eighth grader, with an eighth grader's reading vocabulary level, so it isn't too hard for the reader to understand what you're saying. After reading through the article, I want you to identify the inner voice of the reader and find the find their strive for writing this. Find out their strive. Oh, I, I get it. You need to give it a oh here you go. We need to you need to give three core points to help build their inner voice motivation. Yeah. So you got more detailed with this one. Yeah. What were you thinking? So after making the last one, I realized mm -hmm. I, I had a, uh, it said a lot of stuff like, I mean, I, I think a few of what it, um, what simple advice gave me was to like mm -hmm. uh, strengthen like my the ending of my essay, which is like shows my my point of view. So um, that's why I, I decided to like write another bot to like help me change my point of view. So that's basically what this is. Cool. All right. I'm going to ask you one more time just because I'm totally interested in it. But yeah, I know you answered it already. But when you decided to write that other bot, um, why did you do that instead of going and finding one that you could use, like one that existed already? Oh, um, um, uh, wait, am I still inside it? I yeah, I, I'm okay. still showing the prompt. Yeah. Oh, okay, so um, um, so so when I log on the page, there there were a lot of bots. So um, yeah. Um, it's cut. It, it, if I look through all of them, it would be kind of overwhelming to see like what every single one does, and yeah. also uh, in. It's also like I had a specific scenario that I needed like to make I needed that bot for. So like if I have a specific scenario, I need like spe like that's what I need like a specific bot. So I just created my own bot instead of searching the whole library for one. Cool, cool. That makes sense to me. Chris, do you have any thoughts on this? Or <laughs> um, did it work? I mean, did it write in an eighth grade reading vocabulary level? Yeah, I I, th I think it did because I was able to I was able to comprehend what it was saying. Do you think other Do you think any of your other classmates might want to use this? Um, I don't think a lot of them would want to use my uh uh what do you call it core points or something. Uh, I don't think a lot of them would want to use that. Because like um, I mean they, they might want to. Yeah, but they, like, it's a, it's good. more like you need to use at the end of the essay, in front of your core points. But I think a lot of people would like simple advice, because like it's simple advice. It gives you like five points. Mm -hmm. So how do we get this out to other students? It, like when you make it, only you can use it. Only you can see it, unless your teacher 
publishes yeah. it for your whole school. But I don't think yeah. she has yet. So have you thought about that? How how do you guys share each other's? Um, or maybe you don't yet. Yeah, yeah we don't yet. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. okay. I, I don't think a lot of people like make bots, like, you know, make stuff like this. Okay. So. Very cool. Um, we do want to get back to um, the teacher in Utah was talking about his his students' work. You're welcome to stay and watch us talk about that, or jump off if you'd like. What What do you do? You want to stay and watch? Uh sure. Oh, great. Okay. Well, Chris, do you want to try to back? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Nice work, Rohan. Rohan. Thank you. Um, and please, please, if you have other ideas and stuff interrupt us and let us know okay uh, okay uh, wait i i'm gonna leave and join from my laptop so it's easier because oh i like see you yeah we see you you're you're on not on your laptop yet oh no. oh okay okay so join us back in a second that's great okay okay um so let me get back to a student example Yeah, I like this uh, notion that we can just make our own and we're making the, anyway. Yeah. But it's not so, either way, right? They'll they'll learn from, right. from looking at ours and yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Go ahead. So um, I have in, so right where I am right now is I've got each student essay is in their own document. Mm-hmm. There is another step down the road, but I'll just talk about this step right here. So I will randomly pick, let's say, the fifth one on this page. One, two, three, four, well, five. Can I say quickly what you told me before we just started recording, that you had them handwrite this, or maybe yeah. you said that at the beginning. Mm -hmm. and, and then you are reading them aloud and recording them. Voice and typing. Voice typing these into Google Docs and then putting them on now comment. Correct. Is that the yep. process okay go ahead yep. yeah and so let i'll say one two three four five we'll just randomly pick this one right here just so you know i mean some are better than other um mm -hmm. so over on the side here um i'm gonna go down to my new one so here's the first question that um this is the question I decided on now. So, and these students are answering the same essay, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. It's the so same prompt. This bot everything. is getting, I think, pretty efficient because it is reading the same variations of the same examples, and people are noticing similar things and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Again, a pin on that question because it'll be interesting to see how it does on other essays. Because you actually say just use this as an example, but you know what I mean? But, yeah, I mean, I could generalize this to do um, any essay, but I would, yeah, there's some things I would have to do. So this is specific okay. to one particular example. Okay. But that's okay because the level of feedback I wanted to students to get is a pretty deep level, <laughs> like a lot of information. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So um, the first question was on. As Rohan school. said, too much words. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it Go may ahead. be too much, but um, right. right now, yeah, it's going to be a lot. And so we can see, like, is it too much or not? I mean, these are okay. high school seniors. And so. Let's see what it does. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So I'm a high school student who wants advice about how to write more effective rhetorical analysis essays. How well did I respond to the prompt with a thesis that analyzes the writer's rhetorical choices? So remember that was like the task they were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is definitely at the other end of the spectrum of, you know, what Rohan was talking about. This is a lot of information students are getting, but this information is pretty spot on. Like I'm going to take this and edit it, but really it's pretty, uh, it's accurate for the kinds of things that I would say. Okay. 
So it's repeating the students, this particular essay, it's repeating back to them, your thesis indeed identifies the rhetorical choices of analogies, repetition, and personal anecdotes, mm -hmm. which sets a clear path for analyzing how she conveys her message. So, you know, it's gonna start by saying some things that they did well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but it's also gonna say, mm -hmm. hey, when you do this kind of thing, you could dive deeper into how this advice, you know, like here's here's how you can dig deeper. So my students are gonna take this stuff there. Mm -hmm. So there's a question about how well they did on, you know, the essay in general. And here's does it does it do that dialogue thing where it says here here are three yeah. things or yeah? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So can you um, that just where remove or... does it does it do the dialogue of well, would you like to dive deeper into discussing how? Oh, sure. Yeah. So let's let's okay. do one here, where um, let's just ask the same question again. Mm -hmm. And I want to, you know, choose my simulator. Okay. Boom. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to take a second to think about it, uh, and I'm basically I'm asking it. You know how well did i do this student writer is asking how well did i do understanding this rhetorical situation mm -hmm. and i'm going to get a response fairly quickly here so rohan oh god you got it yeah so um you know i just could, wanted to quickly identify rohan the, these are seniors in high school that, okay um and it's a um ap ap english English composition that they're working on. Okay. So yeah. kind of kind of a high level, very school based, you know, essay that they're writing. Right. Right. So this is okay. different type of writing than what you were talking about, Rohan, but still yeah. something that you'll do in school a lot. So, you know, one of the things they can do is resubmit. Um, so how well does my essay demonstrate an understanding of the rhetorical situation? It'll say like, yeah, you're doing pretty well. However, to deepen your analysis, focus on how, you know, some other stuff here. And, and it'll actually give, because this has been trained on a pretty big body now of essays, it'll even say like, you know, when you said this, here's what, what else you could say about that example. So it's taking examples that the student actually had in their essay and is saying like, hey, you did this, but you could also go and have a little bit more discussion about that point. If they aren't happy with that particular feedback, they can resubmit and and come up with something that's maybe a little bit more helpful. And and it is different, but in general, the 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 advice, the feedback is is pretty accurate. I mean, like it's very similar to the kinds of things I would say. So, yeah. Great. So, and you've done this. So what are, what are your next steps? Next steps, our students are going to actually. I mean, it's great. It's a great experiment, but yeah, how are you using it? So the students are going to take this, the feedback that I edit, you know, it's generating this and then I'm filtering that feedback and putting it into a Google Doc that looks like. Can you see that? You don't think they could just do it here? They can and they will. Okay. So the, they're gonna, the next step after they revise this particular essay is they'll write another essay and they're oh, gonna then, oh, oh. they're gonna get feedback from um, the bot as well on a Got different it. essay. Got it. Okay. Yeah, and, and we don't know yet whether this bot will do a good job with a different topic. I well, I, I I think it will though. Well, in this controlled experiment, it will because I have two sections and each section wrote a different essay. Uh huh. And they're going to swap, so the other section will write an essay and use a bot that's been trained on the other section's essays. I see. So it's a controlled kind of thing with only two different essays, but 
for this particular purpose where they're going to get a lot of feedback about our specific topic. Yeah, I think it'll work. Cool. Rohan, thanks, Chris. Um, <laughs> amazing experiment. You're, you're flowing on this. It's good. Um, and we'll keep watching. Rohan, you have any thoughts or what are you thinking at this point? Um, I, 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 I think the, um, uh, the thing you pointed he tried it is really cool because it, it, it gives you like, it, it, it I think it, like looking at it, it gives you advice on like everything. Like did, didn't he say first you get like it, it, I don't remember what it was, but, um, yeah, I gave it advice on, you know, like how good is my thesis and how how solid is the evidence I use, that kind of thing. It's almost like having like a like a teacher grade your work every time you write. Yeah. And and the the advantage, I mean, there's a lot of advantages to this. First, it aligns with the kinds of things I would say, but it also never gets distracted or tired or biased. <laughs> By, you know, like sometimes you, or, you know, I could have be to go reading, sell sand. <laughs> right. You know, like I could be a little bit more alert sometimes and, and not others. So it is pretty effective. And it is, you know, like students then don't have to wait for me to give them response on this next round. They'll get a lot more than they want, I'm sure, but they'll get a lot back right away. Yeah. So, Rohan, let's deal with the, that overwhelmed feeling How, yeah you know you get it back in a in a, a box that you can edit so it would be possible for you to say you know what that whole those first three paragraphs aren't helping me you could just yeah. edit that out and just you know keep the last two um does that make any does that help to i i guess I mean, what you, your solution, which is to make up a bot that just gives you a list of the things to fix, right? Yeah, basically. Is, 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 is a fine solution. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm just wondering how or, or if you and the other students in your class can begin to not, you can feel overwhelmed if you'd like, but not st stop there, but to go and look and see what else you can do with the text that, you know, that's so much. Is that possible or what do you think? I mean, it's definitely possible, but I don't think a lot of people are like willing to do that, to like read through like the page long paragraph they give. And even if you cut off some of it, 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 just, it looks a lot, looks like a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a fair answer. Okay. Um, cool, cool. Like, oh. Well, go ahead. Did you want to ask something or say something? Um, can I present my screen? I want to show you uh, what, yes. like, what I mean by it's overwhelming. Yep. My son's dog. Went Let's talk to me. Can you present screen? I think you can. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just, like, yeah. So like, if I just like, yeah. if I just like look at this, like, right. It just looks it look it looks more, more a lot more confusing than like if, if I look at this. Yes. I mean like this. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh nice. wait. <laughs> this is like. Wait, this is a simple advice. Uh huh. So this is like when I wrote like I needed an eighth grade level before I put like a first grade level or something because I thought it'd give oh, really simple. Oh, advice. that's what the first but, one But is? here okay. it's just something like, it didn't really give a lot of like specific mm -hmm. advice. So I edited it. Yeah. And Rohan, um, I also teach students who English isn't, you know, their native language. And so um, I, I would say sometimes, can you say that in simpler language? And um, I think that was that's more helpful than um, some of the feedback because it would also make it shorter too. Yeah. Yeah, like um, like I changed it to like this is kindergarten or um, this is like eighth grade. So. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, Am I still sharing uh, my screen? Yeah, you are. Oh, 
but Oops, I'm not anymore. Anymore. Okay. Yeah, Rohan, one of the things that I want to do in my feedback too for students is they do a lot of things that are good though. And so sometimes what they're going to get back is like the bot is going to say, you did this well, but you could also think a little more deeply about it by thinking about these things. And it'll ask questions on, have you thought about this or have you thought about that? And yeah. so, yeah, that that is a lot of information, but sometimes that's people like that in addition to or maybe in place of just the things that they need to improve sometimes it's like building on a strength is a good thing to do too that's a good point yeah did you want to show something else rohan or... oh no oh but okay i think what he's saying is like a good idea for like it, it could like you like a different a different thinking partner like if you want, like, you, you can, it could, like, call it, like, a, like, uh, like, something that's, like, developed, like, it's, like, what my thinking partner is, is, like, uh, I'm trying to, like, make you, like, get more ideas on, like, how to change it, but here, mm -hmm. here you can, like, be more specific. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool, cool. Listen, um, I, the, underneath, there in the center of of the uh, Kuma space room that you're in is uh, so if you click on that big purple square, you'll come to a now comment article that and I just wanted to point this out and you could look at it and maybe comment on it if you'd like. I've been making comments on it. OpenAI has published um, some ideas about prompting, prompt engineering, right? Yeah, I see. And I think it might be worth reading through, you know, by the time I haven't gotten to the bottom of it yet, but I did learn a couple of things like, you know, the thing where you want it, a shorter answer, it, it makes clear that the models that they're using, you can't, if you say limit it to 250 words, it do, it's not very accurate. But if you say limit it to three paragraphs, it does paragraphs well, or limit it to four bullet points it does bullet points well mm. you know that, that that's nothing you know, things like that we don't don't know and yeah. getting back to the delimiters um chris what you did where you say here's the beginning of the essay here's the end of the essay there's mm. a thing in there called delimiters where you put three quotation marks at the beginning three at the end okay. i don't know if that helps or not okay but yeah so article may be of some help here and there. Okay. Um, hmm. I I absolutely feel like uh, any of these articles are like saying, "Here's how you paint," <laughs> and we're going to make our own thing by looking at examples and you know so forth. So, hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, and I had an idea, by the way, Rohan. I wanted to ask you: What if AI could look at all all of the all of the article, all of the things you wrote in seventh grade, and then and then make some assessment of, of your work at that point. Would that be interesting? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how I've improved and like, and uh, and also, um, yeah, if I plug in, if I plug in it, and it still it gives me like, oh, you could you could still add more like show not tell or like you you could still add more something into this thing then like i know i i i have improved but like i know what i can do even better mm -hmm. yeah so that's one idea i'd love to explore is um like collecting maybe not all of the things you did in seventh grade but collecting the last three things you wrote and asking the ai to kind of give you advice about you as a writer not necessarily fixing each one of them i right? think about, the only problem with that would be is that I don't think we did a lot of writing in seventh grade. Like most of the writing we did Fair like enough. was like a not like a short story novelish kind of thing. So like plugging in five pages worth of writing wouldn't really <laughs> like be that. I understand. But okay, so we could maybe we could think about that um this year. And the other the other th thought that I had after reading this article that I just pointed you to is that there's this thing about putting a reference article in. So 
we could create a bot where we keep updating what's happening, for example, in the Israel Hamas war with articles. And then that, that bot, we could ask that bot to fact check things, right? Because it would have that reference article to to use. Yeah, a lot of the so that's that's a thought also to work on. A lot of the advice. Yeah, what? A lot of the advice, specific advice, um, I was getting from from my from my thinking partner is that I need to like fact check my work. Mm. So that would. Well, you're you're writing about wars, right? Yeah. So they're like, how do you know about this stuff? I need to like get more sources. Yeah, that's an interesting so, idea. Yeah. Okay. So let's keep thinking together. Thank you so much, Rohan, for stopping by. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, and and all your efforts. Um, and Chris, thanks for sharing. You bet, Paul. Um, and and I gotta take this dog outside. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good night. All right. Good night. Bye. See you. Bye.